Um, the hut was established uh, seven years ago, six years ago, uh, with the aim of bringing the, the story of the Palestinian Nakba, uh, the, the, the historian, uh, the Palestinian history uh, of the of the of the catastrophe of '48, uh, to the Israeli public, to the Hebrew-speaking Israeli Jewish public. We are doing and organize, organize a lot of tours to destroyed villages, the villages that were destroyed in 48. And in every tour that we organize, we create a booklet uh, that includes testimonies and stories from survivors from the Palestinians who were expelled uh, in 48 from their villages. And, uh, and their, their, their aim was just really uh, to, to bring uh, to the to, the, to bring the, um, this story, the silence uh, story, the, 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 the silenced narrative uh, of the Palestinians uh, to the Israeli Jewish public. Uh, story that we don't... I, I, I studied in a Zionist high school and... Uh, so you didn't know... And, and yeah, it's the stuff that people don't hear about, don't know about, usually, you know, in, I mean in the mainstream um, education system. Or, uh, they have to complete the story because usually you know, they jump from the Holocaust and suddenly they have a state and the middle day and in the middle between it they talk a little bit about the uh, then the Arab came the Arab world or the Arab countries they came and they fight us and then we win in this war and suddenly we have we have a country and telling nothing and about about the Palestinian people about the thousands of Palestinians that were here uh, just and telling nothing about the seven million refugees today uh, seven million Palestinian refugees uh, today and telling nothing about the massacres that happened in 48 and about about the internal displaced person they a lot of them don't know about this uh, this case and uh, every year more and more Jewish and more and more Israelis participate in our activities uh, here, which is uh, good, I think. They need, they want to know the other story. They want to know the other story, and Zuhrod is the stage for them, or is the right place for them. Um, well, it's important because the the outcome of of the Nakba of the, of the establishing the state of Israel in forty eight the outcome of the uh, establishing of state of Israel is um, is the horrible situation that we live in today in Israel we live we are exposed to a constant danger an existential danger. Our, our, our situation here is in our existence is dangerous um, and I think that uh, thanks to the, to the policies of, of, of the State of Israel uh, which are you know, um, sometimes a lot, a lot of times because they are pushed by the, by the American policies American uh, decision making, um, and I think that it, it, it in fact it dangerous the Jewish people, uh, especially in Israel, but also in all over the world. Now, um, in order to in order to to, to somehow bring uh, you know normal normal um, to bring a normal life and peace uh, here, uh, the solution has to go through. This, the, 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 the starting point, which is 48. Now, I, the core of, of, the, of the conflict in the Middle East is the, is the, 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 the refugee, uh, the right of return, or the refugee problem. And without talking about this issue, without talking about this topic, this important topic, there will never ever be any peace here in the Middle East. And in every negotiation, you can see that this 
they delay this issue or they said okay we will talk about let's talk about other issues and not talk about right to return or, refu or refugee uh, problem so the more they delay it the more can't see blood I lived in uh in Jerusalem for um, and I studied for seven years and in the, in the, in the period of sec when the second intifada started and um, the amount of the, of, the, of the people got killed around just around the block where I lived and every week we had another, um, you know, uh, another suicide attack in, 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 in somewhere in the neighborhood it's just It's not a normal condition. It's not. A, it's not how you're supposed to live. This is the way that they educate them. They educate them to fight. They educate them that uh, that the blood of the Palestinian and the Arab is very cheap, and you can kill easily. And that's why in the Intifada, the first Intifada, and the second Intifada, so many children and women and innocent people die through this because it's it's really easy to kill people until now you, you can there is I didn't hear about any case that they judge a, a soldier that he killed so was created the Jewish community here the Zionist Jewish community created itself you know this this kind of ghetto uh, or that differentiates us from the region from the region and we try to be you know like a European extension European stronghold here in the Middle East and we're in the Middle East we have to be a part of the Middle East we're not in Europe anymore I mean I, I don't want to go back to live in Europe um, maybe there are other Jewish people who want but not me <laughs> so. this may be the first time in history that the Jews have not blended into the society in which they live yeah, yeah I think it's, it's uh, and maybe this is the problem it's a big problem yeah there is some people that uh, is telling you about two states resolution, like Palestinian state and a Jewish state. But it's very difficult to implement this, and it's easier about one one state, because if you talk about two states resolution, the one million Palestinian here inside Israel, there is no, there 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 will be not there, not here and not there, there will be nowhere. And it's really a problem. If, and if you talk about two states and not one state, so it will the refugees cannot return to their places, and you cannot um, implement the right the right of return. So one state, so could everybody in one state, including Gaza, including like Israel now, including the West Bank, uh, Jerusalem, Ramallah, Naples, Jenin, everywhere. So it's for everybody. So you can live wherever you want. Um, I, I really believe in this solution about one state solution. And so but you I, think yeah, this benefits everybody? Of course, yeah. I mean, I, first of all, I think about myself, yeah, and uh, about my family. And, uh, you know, I don't want my husband to go to, uh, <laughs> to, the, to, to the army and I don't to reserve to, the, as a reserved soldier. I don't want my children to uh, serve in the army when they reach age 18, uh, like I did and my sister, and I just don't want that to happen. About how the uh, how the right of return is benefit uh, it's not against the the Jewish like benefit them and it's not against them and it's nice because because the people here are afraid from the right of return and they do everything and they fight and they occupy the territories but not just let the, the Palestinian return uh, to their uh, villages they are very afraid and Sami will tell you. No, yeah, if, if there will be a right to return, it, it will be good at, and it will benefit both sides. It's a nice point of view that we should try to go through it.